Okay, so, in this video, we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to show you the different ways to set chests. So I'm going to make a small series of these videos, but for now we'll just focus on to how to set these up and what the things do. So, we'll start with the ponds. These little dudes are very noticeable since they are extremely small. But they have a pretty basic movement. So, they just move forward, really, one by one, one at a time. But if it's their first move, if, if one pawn's moving for the first time, you can either move them one space or two spaces. But you can only do that once. You can do it with every pawn once. So, but the weirdest thing about pawns is how they attack. So if you have one pawn here and another pawn here, this pawn, if, so if that pawn was there, he wouldn't be able to attack. But if the pawn is there, then he can just take him out like that. So pawns can only attack on the, di on the diagonals. And, okay, the position for pawns are on the second line, just all the way down until you fill every square up with pawns. Where's that last pawn? Right there. So when I have my line of pawns, then that's how I was set the pawns up. Okay, so the next uh, chess man that we're doing is the bishop. The bishops have a weird movement, just like these pawns. They can only move diagonally. So, if this guy was, so if there's a pawn over here, I'm using his same color because I don't really want to grab black, he could only attack, he couldn't go past this guy, so there was somebody over here, he couldn't go past his own guy, but if this guy wasn't here, then he could go past this guy, and he could take that dude out. And the position for one of these dudes is not one square, not two squares, but right on C. Right next to the C and right next to the F. And you will have two bishops. So, yeah. Okay, now we get on to the next piece. The weirdest moving pawn, and I'm not pawn, weirdest moving chessman in the world. The knight. Yes, the knight. The knight moves extremely weird. It moves in a J-ish Ellis form, Ellis form. So they would move two forward and one to the side, or they would move one forward and two to any side. So two forward, one to any side, one forward, two to any side. So they can go any way, too. They're kind of like queens. So they can go this way, that way, then they can go that way, that way, that way. They can pretty much just go a lot of places. But these guys go right beside the bishops, but they don't go in between the bishops. The next piece is one of the more important pieces than the knight and the bishop. The rook. Now, a lot of people might call these castles. You can call those those. You can call them castles. I'm fine with that. But these guys have are pretty much the opposite of bishops. So they can move as far as they want, just like bishops but they can only move in straight lines. And they're just like the bishops. They can't go past their own guys, and they can only get one guy at a time. But these guys go right on the edge. So right around over here and here. Okay, now we get on to the second... Well, yeah, the second most important chess woman in the game. The queen. The best pawn ever. So it's pretty much just a combination between the castle and the bishop. It can move forward, backward, left, right, diagonally. But these guys are extremely important. They're just like every other thing. They can't go past their own guy and they can only get one person at a time. Except these guys have a special spot. These guys always stand on their color. So, since this is the white queen, it goes on white. Okay, now we get on to the most important chessman in the game. 
the only, the one, I didn't even say that right, the one, the only, king. This is the most important piece. Okay, so, this is how you explain these, really. If these guys get trapped in a corner and they're the only ones left, and there's a queen, this, you might see this happen. That's not going to do anything. The king can still move. But if that happens, then they're kind of just doomed. They only have three spaces to move. Especially, it's especially bad if this happens. This is called checkmate. So, if a king's in checkmate, that means they have nowhere to move. So, they are in check here because this dude can kill them. If he, if he moves this way, he can still kill him. If this guy moves this way, both of these guys can kill him. If he moves diagonally, kill. Any way he moves, he can die. That means checkmate and your opponent wins. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the chess arrangements and how things move. So, when you have your chessboard set up, this is what your side might look like. And the one, the, the special part about white is they always get to go first. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm going to have a part two on different moves. But that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe for more amazing, for more amazing videos.